I wonder why we never got up there. Ah, Jesus, I don't know. This is the prettiest settlement for miles and miles. 
payment. You have to help us get those highwaymen dead.
familiar like we've been down this road before oh. relax stay a while <laughs> come on you've been so good up to this point You do realize what's at stake here, don't you? Oh, look at that. See how easy you can be to get along with? I wanted you to understand that. I wanted you to see that things could have ended differently if you just listened to us and went away. Instead, you chose the stick. Here it is. Oh, fuck! I'm spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> oh, you know. Before you showed up, everything was fucking great. <clears throat> then you came with your fancy train and your fancy people trying to make this place into something that is never good. <clears throat> and when we tried to be reasonable, you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot. <clears throat> over and over and over. All because you thought there was a hope. For your future? There's no hope for you! No future! For any of you! Ah! you to listen to me why you're not coming with us i don't have a choice your father daddy says if you're not with us you're against us it's not that simple yes it is <laughs> gotta go mom dad's here michelle you too 
need to take care of each other. Because your dad, he won't. He has a lot of big plans, but everything he does ends in violence. Dad solves problems. He creates them. He leaves a trail of bodies behind him. He doesn't care who gets hurt. All right? I fucking hawked out like that? Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freaks some questions. Sorry. I'm sorry I got on that train. I'm sorry I brought you to Hope County. We'll always remember you. You took a risk for us, and it cost you your life. This is all my fault. Rush, I promise we'll make you proud. He was a good man. Selfless. And you... You did everything you could. Oh, those fucking twins are always a step ahead. And we need another angle. I'm gonna go check on Carmina. When you want to hear what I have in mind, talk to me. I 
dude. Yeah. Do I know you from somewhere? I mean, you look dang familiar, like as if, as if we'd done this before in some, some endless haunting loop for which neither of us may ever escape. Huh. Anywho, I'm Herc, and I'm real glad you showed up. I'm looking for a driver. A driver with a prowess for unregulated violence as if they were a younger me. Well, no doubt you've probably heard of my legend, my many outlaw adventures, you know, both in and out of the boudoir. Well, all the stories you heard are true, including the one about me liberating a country with a bunch of monkeys I trained in the deadly art of edge weaponry. But I forsake that life of fame and fortune and all its trappings to settle down. I started a business. My cousin, man, we made party liquor. I fell in love with the woman of my dreams, man. We had a baby. It was a good life, man. A peaceful life. But then, then these highway men, they came and they took it all from me. They took my distillery. They took my ride, they took my woman, and they tried to take my baby. They made this personal. So now, I'm a coach on quick on their asses. I'm a fucking take from them, starting with my ride. So I need you to be my wheel man. A fearless companion willing to risk life and limb while I blow the fuck up out of everyone that stands in my goddamn way, like I'm the Jizz Master MC captain. I don't know what that is, man. I got carried away. Jizz Master MC Captain just sound like, just sound like a fucking boss to me, man. I feel like a boss, man. I'm in fucking boss mode. Will you join me on this path of vengeance? If you do, me and the monkey gods will reward you with spoils beyond your wildest dreams. Party liquor, pornographic VHS tapes, cool guns. I really appreciate your help, man. I, I promise you, you're gonna love my car, man. It fucking hauls ass, man. All Fast and the Furious style. It's like a fucking boner on four wheels, man. I ain't even kidding, neither. It's like the fastest car in the West. Not even the highway, man, can catch this thing. I mean, David Hasselhoff called me up once, and he was like, yo, between you and me, man, kid's a fucking bitch. Let me talk about getting your ride. I told him to fucking take a hack, man. That's probably why they stole it in the first place. All just jealous of how fast it goes and how sexy I look when I'm driving my whip. They're so petty, man. Well, joke's on them. I booby-trapped that car, and they could never look as sexy as me driving it because I got an inner confidence that just shines through. And it's all about confidence, which is why they brought it here, to the safety trap. But, uh, you know, I got to them first. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Better let me turn off that boob trap before you get in. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here, here we go. Wait, what, what the hell is this for? Oh, never, never mind. Never mind, I got it. It's good, I got it. You ready to go so fast your puberty hairs will blow back and tickle your butthole?
much. And Gina says I have a problem where I where I talk things up just a bit too much. I promise you speed, and instead you have you have this. I, I swear this car is real fast when it's up and running. It's just, it's just the baby and all that. memories attached to it. It's too slow, man. Let's just let's just jump out of this junk and run like fuck and watch it explode. My dick is hard. That was that was intense. It was like explosions and gunfire and fucking bison and, and we couldn't stop or we were gonna die. It was like it was like speed but in slow motion, man. Shit. Shit. Oh man. And you know, I I was gonna give you the car as a reward, but but don't worry, I can make you another one and I promise I promise it'll go faster, okay? You know, I'm thinking I'm thinking that we made a pretty good team here, okay? I, I can see you kind of feeling it too. So, if you want, we can we can continue down this path of vengeance, and and we can bust some more heads, man. You know, just 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 give me a call anytime. I'm I'm usually free.
crowd. I don't like falling asleep completely. Too dangerous. I had a thought. I hope you're strong enough to fight the highwaymen. We're all shaken up by the loss of Rush, but we can't let up. As much as I hated the idea of talking to Joseph, I have to admit that having New Eden attack the highwaymen has given us a chance to blindside them. Didn't you meet some crazy little fucker named Irwin? If he's as close to the twins as he claims, he might be our way in. Slick, here we go. You want the twins, right? You want to get close enough to count the nose hairs? Well, I got a way to do that. Now, normally, I just walk you up and introduce you to the twins straight off. But I'm on the outs with them right now. Told them they were fucking up and they got all huffy. It's a whole thing. That's not important. What's important is that now, the twins are all over this guy Frank. Like he's their best friend or something. They even made him the fucking warden of the prison. You believe that? Well, they know me and him don't get along. He's such a dick. But what it is is, Lou has a thing for me. And she wants to make me jealous, okay? Or why else would they even talk to that asshole? So the number one part of the plan is, you gotta kill Frank. And here's how we do it. He's the prison warden, right? So I take you to the prison as a prisoner. That gets you close to Frank, and you just fucking take him out. Take that motherfucker out. I'll explain the rest of the plan on the way. Trust me, it's sure fire. Just stash your gear here. The prisoners don't got weapons. And then jump in the truck, and I'll drive you in. Oh, hey, what do you know? Orange is your color. Hop in the back. Let's go. <laughs> So you're wondering how killing Frank gets you close to the twins, right? Well, the demolition derby's coming up. The winner of the derby gets invited to the fancy-ass dinner with all the highwaymen bigwigs. Win the derby, and you got an express ticket to the twins' personal space. The problem is, the derby's got all the drivers they need. We gotta open up a spot in the lineup. Well, guess what? Frank's all set to drive in the derby. That's right. You see the genius of the plan? You take Frank out, and boom! Suddenly the derby's a driver short. So happens, I know a guy who's hiding a gal. Anyway, I can get you that spot on the derby. But first, Frank's gotta go. Right, I guess without any weapons, you'll have to improvise a way to kill that motherfucker. I'll let you work out the details. Imagine that little fucker in his garbage truck. Hope you got something good to trust in there, little fucker. Hope it's worth our fucking while. 
The hell you want, little fucker? Hey, nice to see you too. Jeez. I got a prisoner with me. What do you think? Mm. It's your ass in the weeds if they're a problem. Bring him in. Don't balls it up in there, okay, Slick? Don't die! anything unless you ask more questions. Let me handle this. I know what I'm doing. Need to barge in. We're busy! But, I know, but somebody who looks important wants to talk. How important? I don't want to hear this. This is... It's all under control. I'll handle this one. <laughs> the fuck you still doing here? Get anything as big and bad as us without some good old fashioned prisoner jobs.
Worst part is, I don't even want to escape. They feed us once a day here. Out there, I didn't have much of anything. I know how to get out of here. I know which one has the key back inside. They took my shiv to the restricted zone. I could try and get it, take him out. If my goddamn legs would stop shaking, if I had the guts.
keep your voice down there. It's spooky out there. Hippie freaks with the bows. Not so loud, sub fuck. What was that? 